Good evening. I'm uh, Barbara Powers, and back in December, you uh, appointed me, along with six other Cape residents, to the 250th Anniversary Celebration Committee and gave us a charge of providing leadership in celebrating the 250th anniversary of the incorporation of Cape Elizabeth, which occurred on November 1 of 1765. We've been meeting monthly since um, February and have a lot of ideas already kicking around and some really exciting partnerships. And before you read about uh, it from our first official press release in the Courier, which will be coming up in a couple of weeks, Elizabeth Brogan, the editor, nicely granted us a chance to foreshadow some of the events. I thought I'd come give you a copy of the press release, talk about a couple of things. It's going to speak about this blue banner that's behind you because we've decided to make it as much as possible a year-long celebration beginning in November 1 of this year. So let me pass this out for you. We added, uh, well, we started with um, Catherine Adams, Jane Beckwith, Carol Ann Jordan, Norman Jordan, Stephanie Corrupp, Darren McClellan, and me, and Carrie Dyer later asked if she could be added. She's a manager at In by the Sea. And so we decided, with Carrie's uh, generous support, to offer sort of a bookended year, beginning with a very festive open house for all Cape Elizabeth residents at In by the Sea, and ending with a ticketed gala dinner event there is what the uh, preliminary plans are looking like, actually on November 1st. In between, already in the works are real exciting partnerships with the Fort Williams Foundation, with sort of our capstone project being uh, right now called A Night at the Light, which brings Portland Symphony back to Fort Williams next summer, hopefully in late August. We clearly have steps to go through for all that to happen, but we have some very energetic members of the Fort Williams Foundation, including Bob and others, uh, meeting with representatives from our committee, and we're very excited about that possibility. We're looking to partner with a historical society and series of discussions and presentations and bus tours and docent-led tours at various sites. Uh, the elementary school has already received a, an important CEF grant, which will allow them to bring in the storytelling project, which will bring Gretchen Berg back to Cape Elizabeth, who I worked with many years ago, in, uh, and they'll be doing physical theater around the history of Cape, uh, as well as a permanent mural installation showing historic sites then and now that will be happening during the school year uh, and uh, the other various events that are mentioned in this press release. But I, before you read about this in the Courier, I thought you might like to hear about it directly from your chair. So thanks for letting me speak. Are there any questions? We plan to be back to you in September with a lot more details about the uh, symphony proposal. Uh, as you'll need to weigh in on that with us as well. But that is generating a lot of excitement. Oh, and we also plan to have banners through the middle of town featuring this logo as well as three others that depict other important historic uh, and cultural uh, icons of Cape Elizabeth. So, anything else? Well, thank you. I'm thank you. It's very exciting that we do have a 250-year anniversary coming up. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, this committee has tremendous ideas. I've been following their minutes, and they have they really do, as Barbara's been telling us, have some very exciting ideas. Thank you. And uh, so we thank you, and we will stay tuned. Thank you. The banner first appeared at the um, uh, Cape Elizabeth Land Trust event last night. It will be back at Beach to Beacon, and Mr. McGovern has graciously offered to have it displayed in the offices. We really want people to start to think about what's coming next year. Thank you. Thank you very much.